The shade has been cool, the tea has been hot, and the behavior <laughs> has been salty this season on The Real Housewives of Potomac. Oh, I like that. The yeah, drama continues to build as the housewives prep for vacation while Monique Samuels is in full baby planning mode. Check this out. I was very disappointed in Giselle at Robin's house. What the heck was that about? It's like she came in going in. I mean, as soon as I go to give her a hug and she's, oh, so we hugging? Oh, you're like, ow, Giselle and Robin don't like me. Giselle and Robin don't like me. As much as I love some of these women, I don't want to be trapped on the island with Giselle because I want to keep my inner peace. Stress can lead you to early labor. It can give the baby issues. Like, the baby can come out with the arm turned this way. <laughs> Monique joins us now. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Thankfully, the here. baby came out happy and healthy. Yes. yes. Yeah, in the hernia, which was a whole nightmare, oh but he's boy. good now. So yes. I'm very grateful. Good. Yeah. And how's it? How it? How's your life with the new addition? To it's the been family? good. Is this is number three. It's number three. Oh, oh my household has been very busy. It's been <laughs> very, none of us are getting sleep except for Christopher and Milani. They're yeah. like sleeping like babies themselves. <laughs> um, and Chase has been such a good. He's so happy. He's always smiling like he is an absolute joy he is yeah he I know your husband wanted to have a fourth and you were not on board is that still uh, gonna happen? no okay. we, we got a parrot okay so our <laughs> fourth <laughs> is a baby parrot his name is T'Challa and oh, we're done I yes. love that you know my kids love Black Panther <laughs> yes. so yeah we had to name we couldn't name the parrot Black Panther so we named them T'Challa <laughs> oh, that's so, cute. so where Thank we are you. in the season the ladies are preparing to head uh, to the Cayman Islands but you stayed back due to your pregnancy was that hard just not to go no <laughs> I actually enjoy being home because, you know, I get really bad separation anxiety from my kids. Like, even right now, I'm itching to get back home. But um, whenever we go on those trips, it is nonstop, and then you're with them. It, it feels like you're trapped at times yeah. because you know you're going to get into it. Yeah. But the good thing about it is usually when that happens, you do get to a point of resolution. Mm -hmm. But at that point, I was pregnant. I was already hot. I didn't want to go to a beach. I didn't want to be, like, yeah. I just wasn't there yeah. mentally. I didn't want to be there. I was like, I'm good staying home. Do they keep you in the loop while they're there, or do you have to watch it unfold like everyone else on the season? You, I watch it unfold, but they did FaceTime me several times, oh, so boy. they were keeping me up to speed. <laughs> but then watching the episodes, I was not prepared. <laughs> I was like, whoa. They just gave me the soft version. They didn't want to stress me out with my pregnancy. Yeah, so yeah. they didn't give me the full-out version. Oh, boy. Oh, it's intense. Speaking of yeah. your pregnancy, we know you pranked your husband <laughs> pretending that your water broke. Has he forgiven you for that yet? Yes, he did. He was fine. <laughs> Even that night, he was a little bit upset, but then he was just like, you got me good. I think he was more upset than I got him yeah than the actual prank itself but it did teach us that we were very unprepared yeah. having two other kids you know that were in school so he was like you know what you're right so we'll get on it and I did pack my bag that night <laughs> and when you're actually when your water actually broke you were all ready yeah we actually went in a week early oh, okay. so yeah my doctor was so nervous that if my water broke with well, my daughter as soon as my water broke she was on the table in four minutes Wow. so with Chase being a wow. bigger baby he said you know what I really think that we should just induce you at 39 weeks just to be safe yeah and we did and everything went well good yeah another big moment this season when you showed Ashley the text conversation you were having with Candace about yes. her do you still stand by your decision what made you do that yes I still stand by it I do not regret it I would do it again because at the end of the day when you have a group of women who are always twisting your words and twisting what mm -hmm. you're trying to say and misconstrue everything that you say you have to have receipts, you have yeah. to have proof. And that was a moment where, that was like the third time that I'm hearing Candace is saying something that I said, stop speaking for me, you know? So I'm like, you know what, no, here's exactly what happened and yeah. here's my proof. And I wouldn't have to lie if I had a text message, you would see it in our personal conversation. So I felt that was the best way to prove myself without trying to sit there and defend myself once again. How would, oh, oh, go, oh, ahead. go ahead. No, I was gonna say, how would you feel, <laughs> would you be okay if someone, if you were the one, like if you were Candace in that situation and someone showed your Oh yeah, because I stand by everything I say. Like anything I say I do, I own. That's yeah. one thing that anyone who watches the show, you'll know about me, if I said it, I'll own up to it. And if I didn't, I'm gonna let you know I didn't say it. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, the reunion. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> It's good. It's going to be good. Oh, that's, that's, how, that's how you know. Okay, well, you can catch The Real Housewives of Potomac Sunday at 8 p.m. on Bravo. Thank you. Good to yeah. see you. Thank you. Good to see Very you, too. Excited.